Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. Tech fragments are the currency players use to buy high-level gear in Star Wars The Old Republic. In this video, I'll be showing off some of the fastest ways to earn them in the game. Tech fragments are mainly used to buy set bonus gear from the vendors in a corner room of the supply section of the Republic or Imperial Fleet. Set bonus armors are empty armor shells that give you a boost in battle if you are a matching set on your character. Your goal as a new level 75 player will be to eventually collect 6 pieces of set bonus gear based on your character's combat discipline and one piece of Amplified Champion gear, which doesn't have a matching set bonus but gives a small boost as the seventh piece. You'll also separately want to get a tactical that's good for your combat discipline. Most set bonus pieces and tactical items can be purchased from the vendors in the corner of the supplies section, with each piece costing 3,000 tech fragments and 1 million credits. If you're lucky, you may get some set bonus pieces for free while playing various types of content. But since that relies on chance, you'll want to work on earning tech fragments so you can purchase your set bonus pieces and tactical. In addition to these set bonus vendors, there's also a special vendor named Kai Zaiken, who appears only around the weekend, who sells a random assortment of end game gear at dis discounted price. So make sure to check in on him before purchasing your gear from the main vendors to save some tech fragments. If you've already earned, all your set bonus and stuff like that, there's also a special quest in the same area that allows you to turn in 10,000 tech fragments for a very rare and very valuable crafting material that you can earn to and then sell to other players for a ton of credits. In addition to your set bonus pieces and tactical item, you'll also need to earn actual gear with stats. That won't be covered in this guide. To get gear with stats, instead check out Gearing Up Solo at level 75 a guide for a lot more info about how to do that. Number 1. To Boros Courtyard Through the Group Finder By far the fastest way to earn tech fragments is by running an operation through the Group Finder, and Taboros Courtyard seems to be the quickest and easiest to run. The hard part is that the Group Finder will only allow you to queue up with up to 7 players, so you can't easily bring in a preset group of 8 players, and the Group Finder also tries to pick a random operation for you to run, from something difficult and time consuming like Gods from the Machine, all the way up to the single boss operations which can take under 10 minutes. Smart players, however, have figured out that you can indeed use the Group Finder to run a specific operation with a specific team as long as you do everything right and don't mind a little extra patience to getting the operation rolling. To join a Taboros Courtyard group, head to the Republic or Imperial Fleet and look in general chat for players posting about TC, short for Taboros Courtyard. The group finder requires specific roles, so you will see them looking for a tank, usually just one tank, a healer, usually just one healer, a DWT, a damage with taunt, so that would be a player who can queue up as a tank, but we'll focus on doing damage. The classes, the advanced classes that can do this are the Assassin, Juggernaut, and Power Tech Imperial side, and on Republic side that would be the Shadow, Guardian, and Vanguard. The other little term you'll see is DWH, damage with heal, and that one's a player who can queue as a healer, but we'll focus on doing damage. This includes Imperial side sorcerers, operatives, and mercenaries, and Republic side that'll be sages, scoundrels, and commandos. The last term you'll see is DPS, which is a damage player of any kind. If you meet the roles that group is looking for, click the player's name in chat to message them, and type what role you are in the whisper. For example, just DPS and the letters TC for Taboros Courtyard is fine. If you get accepted, Make sure to confirm which roles you're going to queue for in chat, and then open the icon of three little people near your minimap. Choose group from the tabs at the top, and choose the correct role from the dropdown. If you need to change the dropdown, this is very important, you should also travel to your stronghold or to the fleet afterwards to get the game to properly recognize that you've changed roles. Once your group is ready, one or two members will leave and your group leader will try and queue you up until you successfully get correct members of your group and you get Taboros Courtyard as the operation. You can run Taboros Courtyard through the group finder once per character per day. 
you can earn over 600 tech fragments per run, and if your group is organized well and forms quickly, the actual fight takes under 10 minutes even with a slow or inexperienced group. While group formation can be a bit up or down for time, if you played Tomorrow's Courtyard and got in about 4 runs per hour, you'd have over 2,000 tech fragments as well as any gear that happened to drop from the boss. Tomorrow's Courtyard through the Group Finder is by far the fastest way to earn tech fragments in the game. For more info, especially if you plan to lead your own Taboros Courtyard group, I have a video called Taboros Courtyard Through the Group Finder Guide. Number 2. Conquest Another fantastic way to get tech fragments is by completing conquests on one or more characters while in a guild that picks a large yield planet. You don't need to be a part of a giant guild, just one that regularly hits about 5 million conquest points total per week and has a player dedicated to picking a planet each week for conquest. And you will personally need to hit 50,000 conquest points on any characters you want to earn conquest rewards on. You'll get 100 tech fragments as soon as you hit your 50,000 points, then another 500 tech fragments the next Tuesday when your guild also completes their conquest for a total of 600 tech fragments per character per week. If you're willing to log in once a day for about 10 minutes, and if you have the full 150% stronghold bonus, you can easily complete conquest on 14 characters by barely lifting a finger. <laughs> My personal method is to do two characters a day. On a high level character who is level 71 and up, I will do the Advancement Reputation Conquest objective, which gets me 43,000 conquest points. Like running a single daily planet mission, then doing a few small tasks, or by running a single space mission operation and doing the bonus quests, which will easily put me over the 50,000 threshold in under 5 minutes. Then I go on a low level character who is level 11 or higher, I press K on my keyboard and assign a utility point which puts me at about 35,000 conquest points. Then I get a companion out, look up what gifts they love, for example on sotorisa.com slash gifts, and give them a single high level gift of that type which will give me about 16,000 points, allowing me to reach my conquest point goal in under a minute. <laughs> this method can be done once a day, with those objectives resetting daily. You can also gather points quite quickly on additional characters by doing most types of content in the game if you have time to actually play, as long as you remember to switch around between characters once you've completed a conquest on them. For example, on my main character, I will naturally complete conquests just by playing at my normal rate, even if I'm not trying to, so I make sure not to do any of the easy conquest objectives on her on purpose. If I'm doing something like dailies or flashpoints, I'll make sure to switch characters and continue on where I've reached 50,000 conquest points. My current highest character count for conquest has been 20 characters in one week, which got me 12,000 tech fragments in one week from conquest alone. Other players report being able to do up to 40 characters or more in a week. While you don't need to shoot for these high numbers, you can still earn a large pile of tech frags on multiple characters through Conquest. If you're feeling a little lost about what Conquest is, I've got both a guide about Conquest in general, as well as a super easy Conquest objectives guide. Number 3, Onderon Dailies. If you're looking for a great solo way to earn tech fragments, the Onderon dailies are a great relaxed choice. Once you've fully completed the Onslaught expansion, you can press the icon of three little people near your minimap, go to the solo tab at the top, and quickly pick up the weekly for Onderon and travel to Onderon from there. Completing a full round of Onderon dailies will net you 500 tech fragments and can be done once per week per character. Number 4, Mech Shaw. Another easy way to earn tech fragments solo is the Mech Shaw Trade House Dailies that you can also start after the Onslaught expansion. The Trade House Weekly can be picked up inside the Auction House from a glowing blue terminal and requires that you complete three Trade House Daily Quests. These daily quests can only be completed once per day, so you'll need to pick up and complete a Trade House Quest on three separate days to complete the Weekly but each individual quest can be completed in a few minutes. The weekly will get you 400 tech fragments per week per character. Do not confuse these with the Mech Shaw Heroics, which are much harder and don't have as good of an easy reward. Number 5, Flashpoints. Veteran Mode and Master Mode Flashpoints are also a good way to get tech fragments. 
The amount will vary a lot based on how you're running them. So there's uh, 100 tech fragments by running the veteran mode flashpoint group finder daily. So just running a random flashpoint with all flashpoints selected in the filters. So truly random through the group finder. And then you can get 125 tech fragments through the same method, but for master mode uh, through the group finder random. On top of that, there's also 150 tech fragments uh, weekly uh, for veteran flashpoints where you must run any five veteran flashpoints. You can pick that up on the Republic or Imperial fleet from a terminal in the supply section. And then if you do the same thing for master mode flashpoints, uh, completing any three master mode flashpoints, you can get 300 tech fragments per week. Flashpoints are also just a really great way to get gear either to disassemble or to wear if you're still uh, upping your gear score. Apart from running to World's Courtyard through the group finder, operations also tend to be a great source of tech fragments and you'll get roughly 100 tech fragments per boss. Number 6. Galactic Starfighter Galactic Starfighter is also a great way to earn tech fragments, especially if you only have a few characters, or if you're already running Starfighter for the Galactic Seasons objectives, or if you just like it. You can pick up the daily and weekly from the combat section of the fleet once you've completed the introductory mission, also from the same terminal in the combat section of the fleet. The daily only requires that you run one or two Starfighter missions and gives you 120 tech fragments, and the weekly requires that you play 10 matches with wins counting as double and gives you a whopping 700 tech fragments per week. While regular PvP can also net you 450 tech fragments for its weekly, completing the weekly requires you win 10 matches, not just play 10 matches, so it can take a while to complete it. If you're new to GSF, I have a full video guide series called Galactic Starfighter Basics. And finally, number seven, Renown and Deconstruction. On top of all these other ways, you'll also get 100 tech fragments from every Renown crate you get. So using a Renown boost to gain Renown faster will get you tech fragments faster. You'll also get a lot of tech fragments simply by deconstructing gear you don't need as well. A full batch of deconstructed gold gear will get you about 150 tech fragments. In short, any piece of gear that isn't an upgrade for you or you don't need for another character, you can deconstruct and you can do that by clicking this very tiny icon of a broken lightsaber in your inventory to deconstruct your gear pieces and get tech fragments from them. And that's my favorite ways to earn tech fragments in Star Wars The Old Republic, whether I'm earning them to get my set bonus or if I'm trying to get some sweet sweet credits by earning 10,000 tech fragments to buy that rare material to sell. If you want to show your support for this series of in-depth videos about how to play Star Wars The Old Republic, visit satarista.com slash support to make a pledge. And if you want to see similar Star Wars The Old Republic videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. As always, may the Force be with you.